What's up everyone, Sephire here again, bringing you the second installment here of uh, Moonglade, playing under the tag Glade, spawning as the Blue Zerg, and Nirvana, spawning as the Red Protoss. Now this is going to be an interesting matchup because last game we saw Moonglade go completely turtle against Nirvana, and Nirvana was trying to Phoenix harass, but there was just so many sunkens and spores that his harassment wasn't that effective, and Moonglade just macroed up like a beast. So, interested to find out what Nirvana's going to throw at him in this second game here. Because Moonglade was... <laughs> looks like Moonglade's going for a 7 pool. I <laughs> Throwing some cheese to, uh, at Nirvana. Didn't expect that. Nirvana throwing down a forward, forward pylon, which is quite aggressive himself. <laughs> Moonglade mixing it up with a 7 pool here. And Nirvana's going to see this, so I'm not sure how he's going to react and how he's going to hold it. Terrible economic situation for Net for Moonglade as he's only made his seventh drone. Nirvana's scout coming in. <laughs> this is craziness. I want to see how effective this is, and he's seen it now. So now he knows that the uh, <laughs> spawning pool is there. He's seen it. It's on his radar. He's keeping his probe in there to just see exactly what's going on. Here's that overload coming out, so there's going to be room for these saved up larvae immediately <laughs> into Zerglings. And now he has no money. I'm curious as to whether he's going to go absolutely crazy and send some drones along to attack with him. Because he's up against this forward aggressive 2 gate from Nirvana, who's <laughs> going to have to try and get save up Chrono Boost, which I imagine he's uh, doing. He does have a lot of save Chrono Boost as soon as he saw that 7 ball. He must have been saving the Chrono Boost. But the Zerglings are on the map now. Moonglade not sending drones to accompany it, so he is getting a little bit of economy. Curious to see how effective this is going to be, especially considering he's playing against Nirvana. Second pylon going up, so he can't do a pylon snipe, and now the uh, <laughs> gateway's online. There's that Chrono Boost going off, but these Zerglings are going to make it to Nirvana's base. He should be okay if he clusters his <laughs> probes, which he's going to have to do to defend. Looks like he's not going to do that. He's just going to completely pull them completely off and run to the Zealot. So he doesn't want to lose a single probe here. Wants to pull it off and get his Zealot online, which he does. And he should be just fine now. But Moonglade's free to harass him. And depending on how well this harassment goes, he can keep Nirvana from mining for quite a long time. He just needs to keep these <laughs> circlings alive. And Nirvana almost losing one there, but this Zealot is quite a turret. Second Zealot on the field now. And those Chrono Boost saving up was uh, really quite effective. So, Nirvana's in pretty good shape. I might would consider he may even try to counter here now that he's got a couple of probes and a couple of zealots uh, marching around, but Moonglade's <laughs> still harassing with this <laughs> cheesy rush here, and he's transitioning into <laughs> a spine crawler and getting his gas online, so he's just looking to interrupt as much as possible because you destroy your economy by doing this. <laughs> Level of crazy cheese. So, Nirvana is surviving it pretty well, as you'd expect from a player of his level right now. He has a lot of zealots in his face, and these zerglings are just <laughs> doing laps right now, just trying to keep the harassment level up. And we're seeing a forge come online here for Nirvana, so he can actually throw some cannon downs and completely shut off this uh, zergling harassment. Meanwhile, Moonglade, <laughs> Moonglade desperately trying to get his economy back online, while he's somehow still got five zerglings up just by microing them around the place so well. Continuing to pump drones in his base. Looks like he gets one probe and sneaks out. Nice run by on two sides there. Just gets out of the way of the, the zealot trap. So he's, he's continuing to harass. <laughs> Probably drive Nirvana quite nuts. Almost losing uh, a zergling there. This one's quite, taken a few hits. So he's got to be really careful. Because once these zealots split up and uh, <laughs> st start to close the door on this harassment, Moonglade's going to be really behind the eight ball. No cannons up yet, Forge is up, I imagine this probe's going to throw a few cannons up, and he might even transition to a fast expand and just turtle up a bit to stop this uh, Zergling harassment. Looks like, um, he has the mineral save, so he didn't throw a cannon up, yes he did throw a cannon up, but no Nexus yet, probably wants to get rid of these Zerglings, we're going to take a few free hits on this cannon. Moonglade, meanwhile, using this opportunity to take the gold expansion, while he brings more Zerglings in, as well as having uh, his gas online, so he's got Zergling speed being researched as well, which is just going to add to this harassment, especially if he can keep the cancel pressure up on these cannons. That's really going to be the gatekeeper for his Zerglings, if he can keep this cannon harassment going. He's <laughs> split his Zerglings now. He's got harassment going on in Nirvana's main. <laughs> Nirvana must just feel so frustrated right now with this level of harassment. One Zergling being trapped, these other Zerglings trying to 
chase down the probe, which they will do. These overlords better be careful, because once this cannon walks in, and apparently Moonglade can hear me, because now he is running his overlords away. I should have known that uh, Gl <laughs> Player of Glade's Caller would be on top of that. But the cannon is finished now, getting a few free hits on these Zerglings. It's going to shut the door on this harassment a little bit. There's still some open uh, area here he can orchestrate a run by, him at, but I imagine that Nirvana's going to drop his Zealots back there to close the door on that, unless he gets super aggressive with these initial Zealots. But the spine crawler taking a forward position, he has the Queen and a bunch of Larvae here, but he lost um, so Overlords there, which is going to has supply blocked him, which is a bit unfortunate. He's really going to have to micro quite efficiently to especially go for these seals, especially if they go for a run by and go for this back of the base, which is open. Looks like Nirvana's not interested in that. Engaging right in the square, the spine crawler can hit him. This is going to be touch and go because the queen does not have transfuse mana. Going to lose one seal out there. The other two desperately trying to uh, work on the spine crawler, but the queen's getting so many free hits on. Spine crawler's going to go down, but now the zerglings pop out and they're going to be able to assist the queen. So Ringway should be just fine. But uh, Nirvana is closing the door now, so this is completely walled off. Got his expansion up, so he has transitioned into forward semi-fast expansion. <laughs> Moonglade has gone from 7 pool into 3 base, throwing down that Agog expansion, which is coming online now, as well as his normal expansion, and he's maintaining his probes off to his gold expansion to get that up and running. So, economically, Moonglade's not that far behind. He's, you know, behind in the... Uh, <laughs> behind in the net harvesting at the moment, but he has 30 drones online, so he's going to kick that in pretty quick, especially as he's got his gold pumping now and a queen online there, so he can transition quite nicely, and he's getting his lair tuck online, so even though this is going to be quite delayed, he has harassed Nirvana so much that <laughs> Nirvana's just cannoning off here, he's like, I'm not interested in being harassed by these Zerglings anymore, and he's just shutting the door right there. So now Moonglade is free to take the map, it's basically, when Protoss do this, they're basically saying, right, I don't care, you can take the map, I'm going to warm myself in, you're going to have to <laughs> go for some kind of mobile units drops or air to get behind my 